Hello, this is Calvin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fresh the firmware on the B-Brain V2. So the first things you will need B-Brain V2, and then um, go to um, open your browser. I like to use Chrome, and then go to Chrome uh, Web Store. You will need the Beta Fry Configurator, uh, and because I already have it, so it will shows rated. If you don't have it, you will shows add to Chrome. So add it to your Chrome, and then you can use it later. The next step is uh, you will need to go to Google and then you can type in um, Zadig or you can just type in this um, address and it will go to Zadig. You will need to download Zadig 2.3. This is the uh, application to help you replace the driver on your uh, to in order to bring your B-Brain to DFU mode. I already have the Zadig here, so I will use the Zadig in here. Uh, so. The uh, next step will be uh, holding down the bind button on your B-Brain and then we'll plug in the USB cable. And then this will get into the bootloader mode. So go to your Zadig and the first step you will need to select option and list all devices. You will show up all the devices here. So go down and find STM32 bootloader. Select this guy and then make sure uh, you will switch to Win USB. This driver, this driver is the correct driver to bring you to DSVU mode. So click replace driver, and now it's replacing the driver. Okay, and after you done this step, the next step will be uh, you know you don't need the Zadig anymore, so you can close it. The next step will be uh, on Beta Fry. So turn on your Beta Fry and. Um, Unplug the USB on your B-Brain V2 and then hold the bind button and plug it back again. And then um, go to Beta Fry. You will uh, you will need to load firmware local and in here I will choose FR Sky because the B-Brain I'm freshing right now is FR Sky. And open it and then hit fresh firmware. So see it will jump to DFU mode. And also, it will show up the board since uh, read protected because this board is never fresh firmware before. Uh, it comes originally from the factory, so you, the beta file will come to unprotect um, the board, and then um, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so after this step done, here is the tricks. You have to close the beta file and unplug the B-Brain, unplug it, and then you have to open the beta fright and then hold the bind button and plug in the B-Brain again. So now you can see DFU mode shows up on beta fright. Same step, go to firmware fresher, load the firmware locally, and um, pick the uh, hex file and open it and hit fresh firmware. Now it's freshing. So this is the way how you get the nearest firmware fresh to your B-Brain. So it's freshing. Verifying and successful. And at this point, at this point it will jump back to the uh, visual COM port and then it shows COM18 on my computer. And you hit connect and go to CLI command and type version will shows the the version number in here 3.2.0 yeah thanks for watching